With the remake of The Lion King hitting theaters this weekend, I thought it was a perfect time to talk about the 1994 animated classic, The Lion King. So let's talk about it. Hey everybody, my name is Justin and I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies, you guys are in the right spot. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my up and coming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about the 1994 animated classic, The Lion King, but I will be joined by an awesome channel that I recently just discovered. And this was a perfect pick to have them on my channel. I will be joined by the Magical Express, two brothers, Ethan and Ryan, who love everything about Disney. So when I was thinking, who do I want to invite on my channel to talk about The Lion King? They were the first people to come to mind because of their love for Disney. So before I give you my thoughts and memories of The Lion King, Ethan and Ryan are going to share their thoughts and memories on the film. So Ethan and Ryan, what did you guys think of The Lion King? Well, thanks, Justin, for bringing us on. Uh, if you don't know who we are, I'm Ethan. And I'm Ryan. And we are The Magical Express. Uh, our YouTube channel is dedicated mostly to just covering Disney. But within Disney come the movies, which we love to talk about. And so when Justin asked us to contribute to this, uh, it, it was a big task. I mean, The Lion King is huge. And with the upcoming movie coming out, it was fun to go back, rewatch the original, and kind of get our thoughts on it. Um, and in the beginning, our, our first thought was like, well, what do we remember about watching it the first time? So I'm going to pass it off to Ryan, who was actually alive when it came out. I was negative one at the time, although I do have my own memory. So Ryan, the original Lion King comes out. Uh, as a kid, what, what kind of pops in your mind when you think of the original? Yeah, so it, it was just, it was kind of life-changing from a movie perspective. <laughs> uh, grew up there, there wasn't really anything like it. Like, if you're looking at... Um, just an ab absolute masterpiece of a movie from gripping story to uh, heart-wrenching gut punches somewhere in the middle to the music that everybody sang and mm -hmm. everybody knew the words to. There really quite wasn't a movie that big and that much of a spectacle, at least from my childlike perspective at the time, right? So it really kind of came along and changed what I knew as animated movies. To me, it was like... In my lifetime, from an animated movie perspective, I kind of look at The Lion King as being pretty monumental. I look at Toy Story for changing the mm -hmm. game. Uh, and really, from a box office per perspective, probably Frozen really is that next big one that really one, took, yeah. took um, what an animated movie could do in a box office to new heights. So it really is a, a massive movie in Disney's catalog, for sure. Yeah, I, I totally agree, especially when you made the, the comment of the gut punches. When it comes to movies I remember having an emotional response to as a child, The Lion King is up there, and maybe not as a movie as a whole, but the Mufasa scene. That is one that I would say 99% of the world would have some sort of emotional response to. And again, in those animated cartoons, what was so unique with The Lion King is in the Disney animated catalog, it was the first one to come out that wasn't based off a story that had already been published and told, and although it's got its parts, I guess, you know, the Hamlet inspiration to it, some biblical stories as well, but it was an original story. Right. So when that happened, people weren't expecting it versus a lot of the originals, kind of how the story progressed, you knew what was to come. Right, and I think its impact is seen today. I know just within the last month or so, a video went viral um, of uh, a family showing their child oh, the Lion King yeah. for the first time. And he was like sitting at the dinner table watching it and it got to that scene and you could just see his gears turning and his heart breaking Broke simultaneously. And, and for, um, you know, a moment like that to hold up after 25 mm -hmm. plus years speaks a lot to the storytelling of this movie. Yeah, and looking at the movie as a whole, Honestly, we don't have much to say other than positives. In terms of the immediate impact, Ryan already hit on the box office success. Uh, nearly a billion dollars in the box office back then, in 94 it was, is incredible. Uh, the music, the nominations it received there was Golden Globe, if I'm not mistaken. Golden Globe and was nominated for, had three different songs, I believe, nominated for Academy Awards. Yeah, and, and so... Obviously then, but still now, uh, the Broadway show is so successful. The fact that it was so influential that people care so much about the remake, the cast mm -hmm. that they were able to bring on for the remake, this isn't some movie uh, that they're just remaking for the sake of it. This was a game changer. And again, the music as a whole, I think we can make a whole video on. Right. Um, the, the progression of how it managed even to get to Elton John's desk is incredible with people like ABBA passing it up and others that were more in the classic Disney field. 
but the music is incredible. The score, I'm pretty sure, was Hans Zimmer, who doesn't really make mistakes. Yeah, in he does not any miss. movie music, especially when it comes to Disney. I can think Pirates of the Caribbean is one that like there's just so many that you could look back right. on, and he just kills it, and it starts all the way back then. And so just seeing that impact, how great the music is today, how the story still holds up, and it really did, like you said, it was something that busted on the scene as something people hadn't seen before. And I think the other thing that we really haven't mentioned is the actual art style of mm -hmm. the animation, and I think that's going to be the one hiccup for this new movie coming uh, with them pursuing kind of the photorealistic view mm -hmm. of the animation. People are either going to love it or they're going to hate it. Meanwhile, the original Lion King is so beautiful and so well done that it's universally accepted as just being uh, a, a work of art, really. Yeah. Um, and so its beauty is really going to put uh, an obstacle in the pathway of this new movie, I think, for yeah. critics. And with, and with The Jungle Book just a few years ago using that same style, The Jungle Book didn't have as much brightness and color. And as great as it is as an original and a classic, it doesn't have that beauty to it, I don't right. think, personally. Uh, as great as the movie is. So when they remade that with that photorealism, it was very dark. It mm -hmm. was very, you know, lots of shadows, toned down features, and it made those animals feel so real. Mm -hmm. And again, it's interacting with a human. Right. In this case, it's nothing but that CGI and yeah. those graphics. So it'll be really interesting to see. Uh, but again, comparing it to the original, I don't think anyone's going to walk out of that theater saying it was better. I think the best they can do is say it, it did a good job of bringing that story to a new audience. And honored it well. Absolutely. So, again, I'm Ethan. I'm Ryan. We're the Magical Express. Thanks, guys, for joining me on my channel. I can't wait to have you guys on my channel again to talk more about Disney. Make sure to go over to their channel after this video and click their subscribe button. They are awesome, and I love their content. So, the, the Lion King is not a movie that I grew up watching. I do remember seeing it a few times, but it just wasn't... It just didn't resonate with me as a kid. It wasn't the movie that I watched over and over again. I feel like movies like Pinocchio, Robin Hood, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan were movies that I watched a lot as a kid. So when I was older, people were saying, oh, Lion King's my favorite Disney movie. And I was like, that's not my favorite Disney movie. I don't love it. It's an okay movie. I do remember going to Disneyland when I was younger and witnessing the Lion King parade when I was, think about like, three years old and then I also remember getting these little boxes from Burger King they were like little puppets and they flapped open and then like they were little toys I remember getting those from Burger King and also the glasses that they made in the 90s and it wasn't really until 2015 that my girlfriend at the time who is now my wife uh, took me to New York and we saw The Lion King on Broadway and I was completely blown away by that play it was truly breathtaking I was like I want to go home and watch The Lion King and so I watched and I was like this is a really good film and then that next summer so 2016 I saw it in theaters AMC was like running some older Disney movies like Pocahontas and Beauty and the Beast and they also were playing The Lion King so we went and saw it and in the opening sequence I cried um, I, I know what the opening sequence is like, but seeing it in theaters, it was just like a truly magnificent feeling. And I, you know, that was, will never be recreated. And I absolutely love that. My wife cried at the beginning of the play. I cried at the beginning of the movie. It was just, it was breathtaking to see it on the big screen and, and the sound and everything. It was just beautiful. And now I truly understand why people regard The Lion King as one of the best Disney movies um, think about all of the Disney movies now, The Lion King happens to be one of my all-time favorite films. There's so much that's already been said about The Lion King, from the characters, to the music, to the story, to the emotional moments. Everything about this movie definitely does work. I was talking with my wife the other day, and we were talking about, you know, Disney music, and what movies have, like, the most popular and best Disney songs, and I would easily say The Lion King is the one that has the best songs. The songs in this movie definitely work into the film. And they add that next level to this movie because it's really good. The song, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, written by Elton John, and I Can't Wait to Be King, and the song sung by Scar in the beginning of the film, all of it just adds a lot to the story. Where some songs, 
don't really do anything to the plot. They're just there to be an entertaining aspect to the movie. Whereas The Lion King, they all add something to the story. Maybe it may be Can You Feel the Love Tonight and the relationship between Nala and Simba and them kind of progressing the relationship. Whatever it may be, the songs in here are so iconic and add a lot to the story. My favorite song in here is Can't Wait to Be King. I love how vibrant and colorful that scene is. And I'm really curious to see if they have that in the new remake. But I love the song for that and how it's played out. And it's really like, and it's very whimsical. And I really love that scene. Pretty much all the songs in here are really good, but that one stands out as my favorite. The characters in here are really entertaining as well. They're really fleshed out from young Simba witnessing his father's death and then running off and meeting Timon and Pumbaa. I really like that story going from someone who was already afraid to be king and then knew that if he returned home when he was younger that he would be blamed for his father's death. So he left and didn't want to deal with that. Then he realized what it takes to be a king and protect Pride Rock and return home. I really like the story for Simba, the young Simba, the teenage Simba, the adult Simba. All of it works really well. And it's paired nicely with some humorous moments towards the end. With Timon and Pumbaa, two of the most iconic Disney characters of all time. They add for a lot of humor in the film, and they have a lot of references to other Disney movies, which definitely does work. All of the characters, from Scar to Mufasa to Nala to Rafiki, all of them are just really well written. I like Mufasa's presence in the beginning of the film, and even though, spoiler, I mean, who hasn't seen The Lion King, that he dies in the middle part of the film, his presence is still there. You still feel Mufasa in the film, that you know that he has passed away, but he is there overlooking everybody. And there's a really good song for the second Disney movie. Uh, the second Lion King movie talked about him still being there, and I really enjoy that. I like how they wrote Mufasa in this movie. Someone who was a guardian to like all of Pride Rock and a father and a protector. And then after he passed, you still felt he was there. And I absolutely love that. The Lion King is a beautifully animated film. Colors pop. It's beautiful to look at. From Pride Rock and far beyond that, everything just works really well. The Lion King is easily one of my favorite Disney movies from its characters to its story, which is based off of Hamlet, to the humor, to the songs that are so iconic, that are so iconic. There is there is so much to love and appreciate about The Lion King. It did take me some time to love this movie. I will admit, I didn't really watch it a lot as a kid. I remember having the VHS and some figures for it, but I didn't really feel like I loved The Lion King. And it wasn't until 2015 when I saw it on Broadway, and I was like, this is a good story, and I absolutely love it. And then I saw it in theaters, and that solidified the fact that I absolutely love The Lion King. So I'd like to give a thanks once again to The Magical Express, Ethan and Ryan for joining me on my channel to talk about The Lion King. I may have to hit you guys up for some future Disney reviews. I love their enthusiasm about Disney. Their love for Disney is uh, shown in their videos, maybe a review or just helpful tips about Disneyland, Disney World, whatever it may be. Uh, definitely check out their channel. So I'm going to go ahead and give The Lion King an A+. It's that good. Thank you guys for checking my review for The Lion King. Stay tuned this weekend. I got a review for the remake. All four Disney Lion King movies ranked worst to best. John Favreau movies ranked. And the Disney remakes ranked worst to best as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. My name is Just Watch Movies. And you guys stay classy YouTube.